Welcome to Audio Tales AI, your destination for captivating stories. Today we unveil a tale filled with unexpected and life-changing decisions. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and let's dive in. My name is Ted and I am 45 years old, and I am married to Kathy who is 40 years old, and we have been married for the last 15 years. I work as an investment banker, and Kathy is a stay-at-home mother of my 10-year-old son. We got married 15 years ago after dating for three years. I met Kathy at a church in our town. It was a sunny Sunday morning, and I had just moved here from my new job as an investment banker. I felt a bit out of place being in a new town and not knowing anyone. But then I saw Kathy. She was sitting a few rows ahead of me, and she had a nice smile that made me want to talk to her. After the church service, I went up to her and we started talking. We became friends and then we started going on dates. We had a great connection, and after three years I asked Kathy to marry me, and she said yes. Kathy used to work, but when we found out she was going to have a baby, we decided she should stop working to take care of herself during the pregnancy and get ready for our child. It was a big decision, but we were happy about it. Kathy became a stay-at-home mom, and she took good care of our family. Over the years, Kathy started to gain some extra weight. It happened gradually as she focused on taking care of our family and being a loving mom to our son. She enjoyed cooking delicious meals and we all enjoyed eating them. Slowly she noticed that her clothes were getting tighter and she wasn't feeling as healthy as she used to. One day Kathy was standing in front of a mirror and started crying. I asked her what happened. She freaked out and removed all her clothes and told me to look at her. She had started to grow from every corner of her body and does not like herself anymore. I just asked her to start working out. She seemed undecided at first but later gave in and joined a local gym. She made some friends there as well. Some of Kathy's friends at the gym began to pressure her to showcase her weight loss transformation on social media, particularly Instagram. They believed that by flaunting her progress, Kathy would gain popularity and attention. At first, Kathy was hesitant about this idea. She had always been a private person and wasn't comfortable with the idea of sharing her journey with the world. However, the constant persuasion from her gym friends made her reconsider. She eventually gave in to the peer pressure and decided to create a public Instagram profile. Kathy started posting pictures and videos of her workouts before and after photos and snippets of her daily life. She was getting attention from everywhere. Her videos were getting likes and some very NSFW comments. Some people used to post good comments while others just wanted to comment on her body. I could not help but feel jealous and angry. I tried to talk to Kathy about the same, but she shot me down saying that I should not worry about the nasty comments. I then said that I want to go to the gym as well. She was supportive, and hence we started to go to the gym together. We had to change our schedule as I had to go to the office as well. So our time was early morning. The gym used to be almost empty as most of the people who came to the gym were affluent women who used to come by 10 a.m. Kathy and I went together every day and now Kathy had an almost empty gym and started making videos of herself working out. I used to find her camera angles a bit odd at times. In most of the angles I felt her, but was the first thing the viewer would see. I did talk to Kathy about her odd camera placements, but she said that these are the professional angles and these angles get more views. I told her that I do not appreciate people commenting about my wife's, but she just laughed off and asked me not to get jealous. I did not speak to her that day. The next day, I did not go to the gym with her. She went alone. When I came home later in the evening, she did not try to make any amends and acted as if everything was fine. I was hurt, and that night in years, I did not go to my marital bed and slept in the guest room. The next morning when I woke up, Kathy had left for the gym, and I could now understand I was no longer her priority. Later that evening, I tried to talk to her about a relay. It did not go well. We ended up with a huge argument. My argument was simple. I do not think that it is nice for a 40-year-old woman to be showing off her curves on the internet. I told her that she is a mother of a child and her videos will cause embarrassment for our son. She rebuffed all my arguments and told me that I do not want to see her happy and I am jealous of her success. I was now pissed off and did not want to argue anymore. I went to the guest room and just slammed the door shut. The next day, while at the office, I went for a coffee break and casually opened my phone to check my wife's Instagram account. What I saw was horrifying. My wife was doing pull-ups in the gym, and her entire back was exposed. She was not wearing anything apart from her tights. The comments were NSFW, and I was enraged. I called her up, but she did not answer. I reached home, and she was not at home. She left my son with a babysitter and told me that my wife left at noon and said we'll be back late at night. I felt betrayed, and all my inclinations to save my marriage were getting erased fast. 
That night she came back at 11 p.m. When she entered, she was intoxicated and was wearing a shiny short dress. I had never seen her wear such clothes. I shouted at her, stating that she needs to mend her ways, or we are getting separated. In her dazed state, she just raised her hand and asked me to shut up. She stumbled to the bedroom and fell asleep. The next morning I was up early and confronted her before she went to the gym. I asked her about the video and her absence from the house that evening. She told me that she is now a fitness icon and needs to show off her body for people to be inspired. I picked up the phone and displayed the lewd comments that have come on her post. I explained that one can be an inspiration without removing clothes. I told her that even kids have access to social media and some of our son's classmates might also be reading these comments, and this will make my son a target of trolls. She rebuffed my concerns and just walked out saying that she is getting late for her live session with her followers. Since I had paid for gym membership, I reached the gym and went to change in the changing room. There in one of the cabins, I could hear someone was watching my wife live on the phone. I could hear some grunts, and I understood that the guy was playing with his private parts. I was done. I left the gym and went straight home. I called my office and took the day off. It was too much for the day. Kathy returned home and I told her she had to choose between her family and her lewd videos. She did not speak to me and just went in the bedroom and closed it. I went to the office. However, the day was going to get worse from here. I returned home and found the babysitter again. I gave her the money and she left. I tried to spend some time with my son that evening. We started to play on his PlayStation. While playing, my son asked me what is OnlyFans. I was surprised and asked him why does he want to know. He said some older kids from his school were talking about his mother being on OnlyFans. My emotions went into a tailspin. I could not understand if I am angry, sad, shocked, and for a few seconds my vision went dark and everything was black and I could not see or hear anything. When I got my senses back, my son was asking me to open the door as someone was ringing the doorbell. I walked to the door like a zombie and saw my wife through the lens. I opened the door and she went straight to the bedroom. I did not speak to her. That night I logged onto OnlyFans and paid to see my wife naked. The next morning, I went to a lawyer and asked him to start the divorce proceedings. I could not take it anymore. I told the lawyer that I would keep the custody of my child due to the nature of the work my wife is doing. The lawyer asked me to get out of the house immediately and if possible go on a vacation for a few days with my son. I did the same. I took my son out for a long drive with me. I dropped a text to my wife that me and my son are going for a long drive and will be back next week. Me and my son had a great week away from the toxic environment that my wife had created. When we returned, we did not go back to our house. We entered a new apartment that I rented near my son's school. It was a bit far from my office, but I was going to opt for work from home option as I knew I was going to be a single parent. My lawyer served my wife and she went berserk. She started calling me and started screaming at me. She said I never discussed this with her. I told her I did ask her to choose, and she chose her career. She started calling me names and hurled abuses. I just disconnected the call and blocked her. I explained to my son that he needs to ignore people who come and talk about his mother. He was a bit upset, but I know he has to face this alone. Our divorce was settled, and I had to sell our house to pay Kathy. I opted for a one-time settlement, as I did not want to be bothered to deal with her every month. I got the custody of my son. I did pay my wife out of court for that. Now it's me and my son. I have a confidence that very soon, I will move out of our rented place and I'll be able to buy a new house. It has been a year since I have divorced my wife and I have moved to a new house that I have just bought. Meanwhile, my wife is not doing so well. A few days ago, I saw her on a podcast with a few women. She is now a full-time OnlyFans model and on that podcast, she explained that she got on OnlyFans to promote fitness and to inspire other women. The host asked her why she chose to get naked for it when there are other ways to inspire people. The host accused her of doing it for the attention and the money. The host also asked if her divorce was caused due to her being on OnlyFans. Kathy started to tear up and said that she does not regret her actions. She wanted to be a role model and inspire people. I laughed at the insanity and delusion Kathy had. The host asked if she misses her family, to which she said she does miss them and accused that the family abandoned her. I was angry but calm down later as I did not want to get dragged into thinking about Kathy. For me, that road was closed. A few days later, I got a call from Kathy. I was surprised as she had called from a different number. She asked how I was doing and then dropped a bomb by saying that she wants to reconcile and come back. I told her to keep her distance from me and my son. I clearly stated that her being on OnlyFans is a curse on my son and I cannot allow her near my son. She said that she will leave all that and will be a good wife. 
I reminded her that what goes on the internet stays on the internet forever. Her choices will forever follow her and her presence near my son will bring her evil into his life. So she should keep her distance and never call again. I hung up. She called from a different number again and asked me a question. Do you love me? I was surprised but kept my calm and replied that there was a time when I loved her. And as of today, she has no place in my heart and in my life. I asked her politely that she needs to stop calling as it's over between us and she needs to step back and step away from our lives. I kept thinking why would she start calling after a year of separation? You see, women on OnlyFans are like perishable goods. They come with an expiry date. Watching a 40-year-old woman on OnlyFans for the first time might be good, but it won't compare to watching a 20-year-old. What Kathy did not account for is that she was already past her prime and now is not the time to start a career that thrives on skin show. The fan following and shower of praises will only last as long as you can take off your clothes and look good. Once you get old, you are done. It's over. It's not a long-term career. Kathy might have made some money as long as it lasted, but I doubt how much she made in the last one year and how much she has left for the rest of her life. I guess she is out of her career and she knows that she will run out of money soon. It makes sense. I gave up my father's arrest and took my son out for a pizza. As for me, I do get a lot of female attention as I earn good. And some have seen me having a good time with my son. I keep away from women as I am not ready for a relationship. And for me, my son is my priority. Thank you for tuning in to Audio Tales AI. If you enjoyed today's story, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support keeps these stories coming. Until next time, remember, love, trust, and understanding are the foundation of a great relationship. But betrayal, lust, and deception make for the best YouTube videos.